Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots here with a mirror acrylic craft free file and design tips. If you don't want to learn how to design an XCS, skip to about seven and a half minutes in for the mirror acrylic tips. So I am pretty flabbergasted by the Xtool 2.0 update. The ability to edit nodes inside of a vector is insane. So I pay a lot of money for design software like Adobe Illustrator in order to basically come in and edit nodes and do very, very detailed work with things that are existing. Whether you buy an SVG or whether you use the vectors available to you inside of system software, we have the ability to edit insane edits. So I'm going to be making a magnet. I'm going to also provide this file for any XCS user, but I want to show you how you can easily design a beautiful piece and edit it. So I can see over here, this says ungroup. Always look for things like that in software because you can see these four pieces. There are four. These three over here, and this one dot over here, those will mess up your cut, engrave, or whatever you're trying to do. So always make sure you identify those pieces. Now, I don't like this down here at all. I hate a lot of this, but the overall shape will be really good. So in the objects menu at the right, I just choose edit node and to highlight these nodes and delete these little squares, I'm just going to or and delete these little circles, I'm just going to highlight them by clicking and dragging. If you click on the path, which is the line, you add a node. You can double click these uh, to sort of smooth them out. You can grab each one and identify, you know, I can move it, I can adjust it, I can delete it. The node management is pretty insane. So I just kind of wanted to see, is this something that I'll be able to work with? So the body is not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is just edit those nodes as well, highlighting what I want to do to make a little bit more of a rounded wing and round off the pieces. So now that I have that, I can duplicate that one and then I can flip it horizontally so that we will have a nice symmetric piece. I select both and align them at top. I can delete that other one. Now we need a body. So I'm going to create an oval and it's ugly. Don't worry. I know it is. You know it is. It's okay. But if we go to edit node, we can adjust it. So the first thing I'm going to unlock this shape right over here, pull it up and then go to edit node and only highlight this one at the top so I can squish the top of this down. I also want to highlight these two and bring those up. And now when I hit done, we lock in this shape for a body. So I'm going to change it from score to engrave so you can kind of see what the whole thing looks like. All right. So everything on this side, we, we need it gone. So I'm going to go into edit node and I'm just going to highlight as much as I can and delete. That's it over and over. I'm going to speed that up so you don't have to look at it. Okay, done. Now we can add our words. We can adjust this a little bit more, whatever we want to do. My words are way over here. Your loving way helped me find my own, which I thought was apropos for Mother's Day. All right, so I'm going to even share the fonts that I'm using. I'll put it in the file as well. Um, it is a paid font, so I can't give it to you. I get most of my fonts from font bundles or Creative Fabrica. So you can see here, I'm just highlighting this area here and deleting it. I'm going to add an element of design that I repeat on both sides to tie this all together. So the heart inside of XCS is a little funky. And so I'm going to highlight just this little node right in center. You can see, I'm just going to highlight it down. I'm going to push it down a couple of points so that it looks a little bit more like a heart. I choose engrave right click to make it a different color so it's easier to see and then I'm just going to place it down here where we took out uh, the design element from the butterfly. We are going to repeat that on the other side so go ahead and make a copy. I do some adjusting over here and then get frustrated so I'm just going to go back to design over here. So uh, I'm going to type uh, anything here and then I'm going to choose my font which is hello or before forever two it's a font duo, which means it comes with both this sans serif and it comes with a script in case you have problems pairing fonts. I really recommend that. So here we can see this is about the size we're going to look for. And we just repeat this and change each one to a single word or a combination of words, whatever will work.
So you can see that helped is a little below the body and that's okay. We're just going to adjust, 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 highlight everything. And we're going to do this um, distribute vertically and that'll just adjust the vertical kerning um, the same way you can adjust horizontal kerning between the letters. So as I mentioned, we're actually going to repeat that same heart on this side. We're going to be ending up cutting all of these out. So it just has a nice little design duplication. I'm going to do it in threes. That's just a design tip. Threes or fives are always something that will be a nice cohesive look. So once I get that into place, you can make any adjustments you want. I think that there's a couple of really silly little circles in here so I'm going to take those off adjust the pieces so I have nice wide pieces so nothing breaks now I'm going to adjust the kerning you can see me typing it in over there and then I'm going to you can group those as well um, but I'm just going to get those in place now I'm going to cut this one heart out of the butterfly wing by selecting both and coming to combine subtract you can see now it's gone I'm going to do the same thing over here I'm going to group these two hearts select those and the butterfly wing and subtract as well to combine all three of my elements of the butterfly I'm just going to hit all three pieces and hit unite combine I'm going to change that to cut because it's absolutely cut. Highlight everything, remove the butterfly, and change those to engrave or ensure they are engrave. Delete that. We don't need it. All right, so any additional design elements you want, we need to put those in now. For example, this uh, butterfly has no antenna. We don't want anything really thin because that will break. It's mere acrylic. It's not the toughest stuff in the world. So we just make sure everything's aligned and now we can combine and unite those in and now our butterfly is ready obviously we don't need a 10 inch high butterfly so i'm changing mine to about three or three and a half inches now i'm going to create my working file the first canvas is a design the next one is notes and the final one is for any tests that you need to run on materials so in my notes folder, I always put what I'm working with, any tips, um, do I need to mask it, you know, what fonts I'm using. So you can see here, I'm going to type in the font and I'm also going to type in the kerning because if I combine and unite those or if I um, process that, I lose the information. One negative of XCS 2.0 is that it doesn't auto save, so just get in the habit of saving things. Now we need to go ahead and group all of these back together. I'm going to hit group and then take everything and flip it. I'm going to mirror it horizontally over. That means over here in this, it says reflect horizontally. Now our file is ready. So beautiful mirror acrylic. I accidentally ordered a little one of this gold. It's a pale gold, not the bright brassy gold. It's just beautiful. And I'm only cutting off the pa uh, plastic masking of what I'm going to need. And then I'm actually going to mask that with some paper masking because mirror acrylic, it uh, scratches easy. So when we put it down on a honeycomb or our slats, we want it protected. So I'm just going to apply that paper masking underneath the plastic mask. There you go. Underneath that plastic masking, make sure there's no air bubbles or, you know, creases or anything. And now we put it in our machine. I'm using the P2. I'm going to be putting it onto the honeycomb face down. I'm going to also make sure it is secured with the pins holding it in place. That red dot oh, is just my for my measurement, you can see I'm going to refresh the image and hit auto measure 4.4 mil because I am on the honeycomb. So I use the close up camera to position this here. And now I'm going to go into the easy set panel and put in my settings for both engraving and cutting. Now, these could be your settings or they could not be your settings. It really depends on your laser. You can also come in here to the materials setup and you can type in mirror acrylic. It will give you their suggestion. However, a word of warning if you're new, when you choose light gold mirror acrylic, they're gonna burn it at 100 power and 20 speed, which will not work on mine, just 100%. I do, however, use these material settings to test. I have a video on this channel showing you how to do that. So once you hit process, you can see it's going to take about seven minutes. You can even run through and see exactly how it's going to process. I'm going to hit start in the machine. I get a little warning because I dropped my cut speed and now I'm going to print process on the machine. I get questions a lot about the speed variance between the S1 from X-Tool, which is a 40 watt diode and the P2, 
which is a 55 watt CO2. This is real speed for the engraving and the, t the timing was spot on. It took six minutes and 18 seconds. That's exactly right. So let me show you exactly right out of the laser. There's no editing or anything. This is beautifully, oops, this is beautifully cut. So I'm just gonna lift this up, making sure I don't actually put my little hook point into the acrylic. That is the masking. So when we take off that masking, look how beautiful that engrave came out. It's crisp and it's clear. You do not need to fill it. I'm going to be using rare earth magnets, but you can use any kind of magnets. I just use these because my little project is only three inches and so. This is 3M adhesive tape. Now listen, most of the time I put this onto my projects before I cut them, but you don't have to. You can just stick it on like that and cut it off with scissors. Why this matters is because a lot of adhesives will actually eat off the backing of mirror acrylic. And I find that, hey, you know what works? what has worked before. So this works for me every single time with mirror acrylic. I'm going to clamp it because I always clamp anything with 3M, no matter the formula. Just make sure that your magnet is not over your engraving because it will show through. To protect it, I add in two pieces of cardboard, very fancy, and a clamp from Harbor Freight. And guess what? Now all we have to do is let that sit for the instructions and then we take it off and we make it pretty. So you can see my fingerprints are all over the thing. So I'm using a little Novus acrylic cleaner and I'm going to gently wipe this off with a super soft cloth to avoid any scratches. Once that's done, um, look, it's so pretty and I'm going to give it to my mom for Mother's Day. You can get the file for this down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more crafty laser fun.